Greetings and salutations everyone, Featherhoof here with another Game Side Chat and Stardew Valley. Where, we're gonna try and add some levity to the series because last couple of episodes have been a little... emotional. In the negative sense. So I want to try and bring things to more of a happy note. You know, obviously not everything can be happy all the time, but I want to try. But first, uh, today... We're going to take a little bit of a different tact with um, Stardew Valley for a, little, for a time. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to get back to upgrading my gear uh, to iron and cleaning out the farm, you know. I said last episode I'm going to, um, like, scythe up the grass. I want to leave the grass alone for now, at least most of it. Um, I'm really going to start working on the rocks, the twigs, all that jazz that's just been around my farm that I really want to destroy and get rid of. Trees, all that jazz. Clear it out so we can have a clean slate, start building, you know, structures, fences, pens, you know, you know, for animals and whatnot. A lot of that stuff. So that's gonna, that, that's the stuff we're going to, like, focus on for a while, while my, um, my tools are being upgraded. Summer's almost over, by the way. We're on the 24th of summer. So we're, we're about to head into fall, so that may change things a little bit. I don't know what, you know, how, though. Okay, I don't need to water my plants tomorrow, so I am going to make enough to actually upgrade my watering can now. That needs to happen. Good to know. I'm glad I looked that up. The speeds are very happy today. Well! I think I, my plans may have changed. If the spirits are very happy today, maybe I might go mining. No, 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 because I need to make the iron ore. So I need to stay on my farm so I can make the iron. Or my iron bars, or whatever they're called. Damn it. Okay, well, maybe the spirits being happy will make it so that uh, my stuff grow quicker. Oh, hello. Where's my watering can at? Oh, there you are. So... This episode, you know, I wanted to bring back some levity. I wanted to bring some, back some happy thoughts, some happy memories, some joy. So, again, why? Why are you facing that way? This game pisses me off. It's pissing me off. Mm. Okay. Okay. Speaking of as I just freaked the fuck out there. You know, uh, I can't think of anything that brings more joy and levity than theme parks. I wanted to talk about theme parks. Some, some memories I've had of theme parks. Some of the ones I I remember the most, the ones I've been to the most. The ones I have the, the fondest memories of. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do today. As we destroy rocks, cut trees, break, you know, break out down branches. So... I'm gonna need to put. I need that. Don't need this. For the time being, I'll put this away. I need my axe. And my pickaxe. I think that's about it. Yes. Right, now I need to get my iron and my coal. Okay. Let's get this uh. Let's get this started. Let's get this st party started hot. Let's get it started in here. So, theme parks. Where is it? Of course I see you. <laughs> Stupid things. Oh well. Wait. Actually, I think I do. Hold on a minute. Okay, let's try this again. Actually, I want to get rid of this grass here. I don't like that grass being there. I don't know why, but it actually bugged me that that grass was there. I got a rock. So anyway, let's say theme parks. I love me some theme parks. Theme parks are awesome. I've been to a lot in my time. Quite a lot. To be, I mean, I'll be completely honest with you. I've been to a metric fuck ton of theme parks in my life. Most of them, you know, 
Most of them have been in Florida. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll start with, um, you know, the obvious ones. You know, we, I've been to, of course, I've been. Again, stop looking in the wrong direction, dude. Why does he do that? This game's only just started today, and it's already pissing me off. I'm gonna have to, like, get or make some food here in the near future. Is there any food I can make? that in there. Got one down. Four to go. Oh, this one, I have soda. Gum, gum, glub. Just get high on caffeine. And give ourselves some diabetes. See, I've, I've been to all the all the parks you probably, you know, like, have you been to blah? Yeah, I've probably been there. As, as, you know, at least the Florida ones. I've never been to, you know, the... Obviously, we're talking about Disney. Um, I've... I've been to nearly all the Disney parks except for... Um... Uh, Animal Kingdom. I've never been to Animal Kingdom, and that's because I've heard it's not that great. So I've never really had, like, a, an urge or a desire to go there. Have you ever noticed that the trees always fall in the opposite direction of you? I, just once, I want to see, like, the my, my little digital character freak the fuck out because the trees are coming at him. Just because I'm weird like that. And a plonk, and a plonk, and a plonk, plonk, plonk. See, I've been, to Mag I've been to Magic Kingdom so many times in my life. Again, we're talking about the Orlando one. I know there's a Disneyland. But I've, ne I've never been. I've only been to California once, and that was not on our, it our on our itinerary. That was not part of the, uh... Why we were there. <laughs> the Magic Kingdom- I've always loved Magic Kingdom. Some of the things that, uh, are no longer there, you know, I, like, I remember back in the day, like, once, and only once, was there a, um, a 20, I think it was like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride. Ooh, excuse me. And, um, I, I only vaguely remember, because I was, I was little. I was very little when it was a thing. So I have, like, the vaguest of memories of it. Some of the other things I remember, like, this one, this one ride that changed so many times, like, throughout the course of my life, I remember, oh, again, I, I forgot. And, uh, it was called Alien Attack. I can remember, again, I, I my, my brain's telling me to have different, a bunch of different iterations, but I can only remember two of them off the top of my head. First one, when, when it was like, it was... It was like a legit horror ride. It was really cool in that way. Is that it was like you go in this room and it was like it was scary, you know. And then they like at one point they um, they toned it down and they made it about Stitch. So I didn't think of Stitch. Just wasn't what I was hoping for because I remember going back and being excited for it to go back on the scary ride and, and it wasn't scary anymore. It was Stitch. Speak of the devil. That's three. Beep. Mm, food. This food gives me lots of energy. Nom 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 nom. Gives me a lot of energy. Holy crap. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, I've been to Magic Kingdom a lot. But it's not, it's not my favorite. My favorite is Epcot. At least now, like, back in the day, I used to love Magic Kingdom. It was, it was, it was awesome. But as an adult, I love Epcot more. Epcot is so much cooler, in my opinion. Especially because, like, um, the first time that I went back since I was a child, because we only went once when I was a kid. And, um, 
we never went back because we as kids didn't like it. We were like, this is not for us. My parents never bothered. But, um, when I got married, Cindy had never, she, she grew up dirt poor. So she never got to experience these things that I did. So they consulted her. It's like, okay, which, which parks would you like to go to? Because we're going to do parks and stuff. And she was all about, she, you know, she's like, okay, what's this one like? What's this one like? And well, we were like, first of all, you've never been, you have to go to Magic Kingdom. Everyone needs to go to Magic Kingdom once in their life. You just, you have to. It's like a prerequisite for life. So we forced her to go to that one. And then the second, you know, then there was a second one. And we was like, okay, which one do you want to go to? And she chose Epcot based on, you know, it was like, okay, it's it's like, the, it's the educational park, you know? And she went, oh, that, that sounds right up my alley. Because she's, she's one of those intellectual types. Boop. Oh, great. That put that down there. <laughs> Did not mean for that to happen. One more bar to go. Boop. Okay, let's, uh, let's clear out some more rocks. And when we went back, as I thought, I had a total different, uh, different appreciation for that park. I liked it a lot more. I was like, wait, why did I hate this? And obviously, they had, um, they had rides there that weren't there back in the day. Like, they have this, like, Finding Nemo ride. That's not bad. They had, like, Soarin', which, you know, wasn't a thing back when I was a kid. Otherwise, I'd be like, I need to keep coming back to this. This is so cool. Um. I'm gonna run out of energy. Ooh. It's on its final stage. I'm gonna have to go out and buy some stuff to like. Even though I now have a um, a kitchen, I don't think I have any ingredients to like make anything right now. Energy's getting low. Oh no! Now it's in its final stage. Okay. Yes, I yes, yes, I see that. See, what I think I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go as far as, um, this lake and then go back up north again. Just, like, clear out this nice big section on the eastern half of my farm. Ah, it's done. I heard it go beep. Sorry, 710. No, it's closed! Fuck! Oh, today would have been a perfect, perfect day. Fudge. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Fudge, and more fudge. Wait, why did I get a geode? When did that happen? I am unobservant as hell, aren't I? Beep. Okay, well, we still have time. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll keep... We'll keep on getting... Keep, we'll keep on keeping on. Destroying rocks, destroying trees. So, I mean, last time we went to Epcot, they brought back Captain Neo, which, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of Michael Jackson, so that made me happy. I think it was one of the final years Figment was still a thing. Because I uh, last I heard, Figment was actually... That's done. They got rid of the whole Eric Idle Figment thing. Which is sad to me. I love that whole Imagination Station thing. I mean, and then as far as the other Disney bits, I mean, I've been to MGM, I think, maybe twice total. So I actually really don't have many memories of MGM. So I have, uh, so I really can't say if it was good or not, to be perfectly honest. Oh, that's right, I can actually... See, I need to start, like, taking all this wood to, um, to the community center. I think I have enough time. I think I'm gonna make that trip. Let's go break out the wood and see how much wood is needed for the community center. Because I know it's also needed for, you know, building stuff. But I think I need, like, let's see, 99, 198, um, 
wood for something in the community center. Which, I have that. Right, let, let me double check. Give me just a second, guys. Yep. 10 hardwood, 99 stone, and 198. God, I think I have all of that, actually. Yes. Yes. Let's go take a quick trip to the community center. Let's finish that little bit. Let's see what that does. Here we go. I don't know why that was so hard for me to find. There we go. Boop. And some stone. Bundle complete. Oh, reward bridge repair. So if I finish all these, it will prepare that bridge. Oh. A charcoal kitten turns 10 pieces of wood into one piece of charcoal. Nifty. Awesome sauce. You gotta be... I really should be fit... Like, this is what you guys were talking about in the comments. You were like... Like, all these things that I'm like, what is this? How do I do that? If I come here... Oh. It will actually... By finishing these entirely, will actually add to it. Okay. What did we just... Unlock? I know it's 11 p.m. and I should be getting home before it becomes, you know, too late, but I'm curious. Now what Now what else do we have to find and keep bringing back here? What the fuck? He wants money? Bus repair. Bus? I, I didn't realize the bus was broken. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh man, I need to be doing this pantry business because I... I've read about greenhouses. The reward greenhouse. I've read about these. These are really, really good. Because I could, like, I could be growing my strawberries all year round. Okay. Huh. Bridge repair. Is that the big bridge that's next to, um, next to the Adventurer's Guild? I don't know what a glittering boulder is. Minecarts repaired. Don't know what that does. I think I have that as well. I'll have to bring that back next next ne ne tomorrow. I'll have to bring that back. We already did this. Increases friendship. I don't know what I don't. Even, okay, I don't even care about this. I don't even know what that does. Okay, interesting. So we're we're making headway, making headway on our community center. Nice. I know, game. I know. I know. It's getting late. I'm not going to go to bed with all this stuff in my pockets. Not doing that. No, thank you. Put you in here, because I don't really have a use for you yet. I will. I'm sure I will. Wait, why is all my wood in here? That was weird. I had wood in two separate places. That wasn't very efficient. Okay. Let's get to bed before I suffer some serious consequences. My big bed for two. Which, actually, is just for one, because I thrash around at night. You don't want to be in bed with me. Huh. Did I not sell anything? Huh. Okay. Ooh, we have a... Where's the thunderstorms I was promised today? And he's acting up again, and you know what helps? Rubbing that darn thing with a hot pepper. Trouble is, my supplies run dry. If you got one to spare, I'd be much obliged. Sure, I can actually, I think I have hot peppers. Cool. I can do that. Yep. Hot pepper. Ooh, these look different. Tomato. Oh, wait. let's give the cat some water. Kitty, you're sort of in my way. Thank you. We're gonna find this George guy. Who's George? Ah, I remember George. He's the he's the crotchety old guy. I think I can find him. Pretty easy. I think. Guys, yeah, so where is the house with the? Oh, God damn it. Where the uh, the caveman looking dude was going through the, through his trash. 
Just gotta remember where that is. <laughs> Give him a hot papa. First, let's uh No, we'll do that after after. After. So anyway, theme parks. Yeah. So yeah, I've been to I've been to most of Disney, like I said. Most of some a lot of it I can't remember anymore, because I'm a GM, I was young last time I was there. Animal Kingdom I've never been, so there's that. But, we actually did a lot of, uh, our trips, we actually did go to Universal a lot. I mean, I loved Universal. I'm not as big a fan of it now as I used to be, because a lot of my absolute favorite things are gone. I think I need here? No, this is the crafts room. Right? Yeah, this is a craft room. I don't want the craft room. I want the, uh... Like this room? The pantry? Yes! Let's see. Tomato. Boop! I just need to get a blueberry. And I'm making them. Hopefully it'll finish in the next couple of days. Getting down to the wire. Go find George and give him his hot pepper. Man, Universal used to be my favorite, but it's like... A lot of us rides that I really, really loved are just sort of... gone. It makes me sad. I mean, it's it's the inevitable, you know? It happens. You know, they, they switch them out from time to time. Hey, you. Took you long enough! <laughs> well, it's good and spicy, at least. Thanks! You're welcome. Oh, journal updated. 200 monies! Yay! Demetrius still is waiting on that melon. Pam wants some pale ale, which I still don't know what that is. Maybe this is purple shorts. Still haven't found that. Okay. Now, let's go back to our good old friend, the blacksmith. As we continue to talk about Universal Studios. I love Universal Studios. Back in the day. Back in the day when there was, you know... The Back to the Future ride, the jo- no. Don't you give him as a gift. Ooh. A Thunder Egg. I don't know- wait, 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 wait. Upgrade tool. Steel watering can. Yes! Yeah, you better get started on that. Like the Back to the Future ride, E.T., um, what else, what else was there? Jaws. You know, those are some of, like, my favorite rides of all time, but... Oh, yeah, the Ghostbusters show, I love that. I actually even like the Beetlejuice show. Like, there was actually this thing, every once in a while you would see, um... The Ghostbusters going down through the street with, like, you know, Beetlejuice, you know, like, putting it, put, you know, like... Pushing him along like he was captured like a criminal. You know, with their with their proton packs, it was so cool. Like they, it was just so nifty to see like these properties like come together like that. You know, Ghostbusters meeting Beetlejuice. Now they got like this giant Transformers exhibit. You know, like based on the um, the Michael Bay Transformers, which is sort of like. I hear the Mummy rides okay, but um, I haven't been on it myself, so I can't say. They replaced Back to the Future with a Simpsons ride, like this whole Simpsons experience, which, you know, I, I liked the Simpsons back in the day, but it wasn't like, you know, best thing in the world, we got Simpsons, love Simpsons, gotta love Simpsons. It's just, it's, it's okay. <gasps> Purple Mushroom! I can go in the Community Center, though. I want to save it for the Community Center. I just came from there. Actually, I think I need these, these, these. But what are you doing there, Sweet Pea? The fuck is Sweet Pea doing in there? Oh yeah, I need you. You. Where's the slime? Not enough slime, but uh, we're getting there. We just have to kill a bunch more slimes. We can do that.
And now we make another trip back to the community center. Okay, so... Yeah, the Universal Studios, it's... The only thing that I really like about it now is that is the two Harry Potter parks. That and Islands of Adventure. I do love Islands of Adventure. It's a weird hodgepodge, you know? They got, like, Marvel Comics sitting next to... You know, old comic strips like Dagwood and... Um... What's his name? The Canadian Mountie guy. I can't remember his name, though. But, uh... Dudley do right. You know, sitting next to Do Dr. Suse and, uh... Winter... Exotic... Ah! Yes! That goes in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. I had a cave carrot at some point! Damn it! Why did I get rid of it? I can't remember. I probably sold it by accident, as as it happens a lot in this game. I saw a lot of things that I should not be selling. Go away, little naturey guys who's you know, I don't know their purpose yet. There we go. Adventurous bundle. Wait, I'm confused. Why can't I put the bat wings and the slime down there? What? Okay, I'm, I'm confused. I, I don't know what a void essence is yet, so hopefully I'll figure that out in, in the future. I remember these things. Actually, I think I have some of these things. They're sitting inside my, my chest. Damn, I should have brought them. I guess this is going to be a community ch chest day. Give me just a minute while I go back to, to, to my place and actually look through what I need and what I have. And so I don't have to keep making these multiple trips. Inserting jump cut. Okay, I have I have all the stuff I can give now. I just gotta remember what that is. And while I'm remembering what that is, let's go back to uh, talking about... About theme parks, like I, like, like I was doing. Because um, I love Universal, you love Universal... Uh, um, islands, of, islands of Adventure, but well, there's no but about it. I just, I just love that. But uh, another, another one that we visited often was uh, well, actually, no, I, I use the word often. It just came out of my brain, my mouth accidentally. It wasn't often. Uh, we only visited it once, and whatever, once ever, it was called um, Bush Gardens, Bush Gardens in Tampa, Florida. That, that was an interesting theme park. I gotta say. Let's see, I need you, one of you. Is that it here? That's it here. Uh, I really don't have, again, it's another one of these I don't have much to say about because I was, yeah, actually, I was a preteen at this time. But even then, you know, trying to remember stuff when you're preteen is still difficult in and of itself. Go. Boop. 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 There we go. I see the fire quartz. I think that's everything for now. Um, I, I, the only thing I remember about it is that there was this, like, this one, like, really awesome roller coaster that sort of, like, like, gave the illusion of going underwater, like, twice. I can't remember what it was called, but it was, like, really cool. But I remember at the time, I was very scared to go on it. Because at that time, I'd only ever been on uh, uh, one other roller coaster in my life. That's because a buddy of mine at the time really, 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 like, pushed me to... to go on it. Um... But yeah, it, again, it's, I wish I... The only thing I remember about Bush Gardens, like, really remember... were the Clydesdales. Oh my god! There were Clydesdales all over the... Oh, oh wait, no, I need those. He would, you would go there, and it was just so awesome because, like, there was like these just stables everywhere with freaking Clydesdales, and it was awesome. I loved it because that was like the first time I'd really seen a Clydesdale, like up close and personal. Those things are huge, especially for like a what was I again? Like 
13, 14 year old? Like, just, just standing next to one blew my mind. <laughs> it blew my mind. Okay, we've got times left to us. Let's go ahead and do some more cleaning out. Ooh, I see a rock. My rock. There we go. And that, that, like, I really want to go back to Bush Gardens. One, because the shirt that I got from there that I really, really like is like falling apart. You may have seen it in some of my videos. It's like it has the a picture of a big old Clydesdale face on the front. And it just had the words like, you know, the gentle giants or something to that effect. I love that shirt. But um, also because I just want to... I just want to be that theme park that just has freaking Clydesdales being led around it every so often. To me, that's awesome. Why am I not... Usually the copper is quick. Why have I not heard the, the noise? Unless I, it went off at the same time as... Uh, ah! Okay, it already went off. Iron for the community center. It's, it's stuff for the community center is what I'm doing. But the um, beyond um, Disney, the uh, the theme park we went to the most, and this was as a kid. At, this was like local. Was this theme park called Giaga Lake? It's it's local to me. I mean, I've been to Cedar Point. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't too thrilled with it. But it's it still does massive business year over year because well, I don't I don't really don't know why because I guess people just really really like roller coasters and nothing else. I don't know. I like Geauga Lake more because it was like it had some roller coasters, it had some you know, you know normal rides you would expect to see, and it also had a water park. It was like it was. Like, all these different things at once, and it was awesome. Oh, I found another log I didn't realize was around. But it was like, it was like... So cool, especially, be it's mostly because of that water park. I was like, the first time I got into like a wave ride. You know, like the, the big wave simulator type ride. You know, I, I love that. Running out of uh, stamina. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Actually, that iron ore may have popped by now, right? Let's go see if the iron ore popped. And we'll go take that back to the community center before we end this day and end this episode. There she blows. Okay. Let's take these two blokes back over to the community center. Once again, making that trip because I'm just weird like that. And then hopefully we'll be getting our um, watering can back soon so we can then take our hoe and, you know, get that all ironized. It's so weird actually working on the farm again, especially now that, like, as I mean, it's a lot nicer that I have, you know, all these, uh, a higher level, so I don't use as much stamina. Because that actually uses a buttload of stamina back in the day. Back in, like, episode one of this, the kind of stamina that used was crazy. Boop, and a boop. I literally only need one more piece of gold ore to make a gold bar, so I'm looking forward to that, and I can finish that up. So when I actually finish these little bits, does it actually make, like, when I finish all of them, does it actually make the... Like, fix this up? I hope it does. I want it to look nice. I don't like it, the fact that it looks all crappy while that Jojo Mart sitting over there. Yeah, Geauga Lake was my absolute favorite theme park, and it's... gone. It's gone. Cedar Parks, the owner of Cedar Point, and Six Flags both, at different times, bought it. They bought it time again. They went back and forth. Like Six Flags would open, own it for a while, and Cedar Parks would own it for a while. 
And he got run into the ground. Just got absolutely run into the into the fucking ground. And destroyed. It was a sad day for me. When that when that place was gone, that was a sad day for me. Okay, well. That's it for today. We are going to go to sleep. If I'm not, I thought they said today was wasn't today supposed to be the thunderstorming day? Did he really get it wrong? That sucks. That sucks. Hooray! Again, that noise. What is that noise that happens every so often? That I want to know. But anyway, that's that's the story of you know basically a lot of my childhood was was theme parks. My parents scripted and saved like all year round to make sure that we you know, you know could go on these trips. Like most of them, because especially the ones in Florida, was so that my mother's made these trips to Florida because that's where her side of the family lives. So we would go down there and visit them. And it's for it was for us kids, you know. It's like Kids don't care about family reunions and, you know, going and seeing family. We get bored of that shit, you know? It's like, well, what do we get to do that's fun? So they would take us to the theme parks. So, if you guys spend any, any time... It's raining. I can hear it raining. Did it just say that it was supposed to be... I'm so confused. Okay, well, I'm not going to question it. I'm, I'm a little lost, but... Sounds like it's raining right now. But let me know if you guys ever got to get the chance to grow up around theme parks and what kind of theme parks you went to and what, what were your favorites? What, what are the ones you liked the most? Hell, even if you went to them as an adult, maybe you didn't get to go to them as a child. Which ones do you like as an adult? And here's a question. If you've been to theme parks as a child and that same theme park as an adult, which theme parks do you think aged the best? Which ones do you think you enjoyed just as much as a child, or if not more so. Which are the ones that you think hold up the best? And let's just have a discussion about that. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. And if you enjoyed this episode, let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, share it, or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.